Hello friends, welcome to new student lecture video from Subhras Biology and in this class we will study about tenuous oleum. We have already discussed in the previous videos about the morphological structures of tenuous oleum but in this class we will study about the life cycle, its lab diagnosis, treatment, prevention, so all this about the tenuous oleum. So now we will start with the tenuous oleum. Then what is tenuous oleum? Tenuous oleum is a parasite, you can otherwise also say it as perk type 1 means the meat of the pig it contains tape 1 and that is the tenuous oleum but before going in detail of the tenuous oleum if you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button if you like this channel and also do comment whatever videos you want to be taught in the class in the so that i will be producing next videos on that topic so now we will start with the tenuous oleum as we can see I have just drawn a cycle of tenuous oleum. Just in between 4 to 5 steps, we will be remembering the life cycle of total whole tenuous oleum. So, watch till the end of the video so that you will be clear the all about the tenuous oleum. Right? Now, we will start with tenuous oleum. As you can see, I have just um, drawn a schematic diagram, a cycle. It's cycle that it, it will be understand for you so that you can easily understand the cycle of tenuous oleum. It only includes three to four steps only. So the life cycle I have divided into two parts. So the, as you know, tenuous oleum is digenetic. Digenetic means it has two hosts, definitive host and the intermediate host. So it has in the first case, it has the definitive host as the man and the second intermediate host is the peak, right? So now we'll start the cycle. So first of all, we will start the infection occurs by ingestion of undercooked meat means when we are taking the un undercooked meat of pig, we are getting the infection. So from there onwards, we will start and suppose when the human gets infection, through this perk type 1 and the adult one, the adult tenuous oleum, you can see the structure here. So I have already told about the structure but now I am just giving you some points about that. So the structure includes here the head region is otherwise called as scolex, scolex, S-C-O-L-E-X, scolex region and that is the proglotted region and that is the total structure of the adult one, adult tenuous oleum. So now this uh, tenuous oleum which is entered to the human body they it is attached to the intestine of the human so what happens when we are taking something it moves to the es esophagus and it finally reaches at the intestine and it is attached to the adheres to the intestine because it has some suckers in the head region or in the scolex region right so it attached to the intestine of the human body and then it grows it grows to become an adult worm, right? So this is the, uh, from there, from in the small intestine, what happens? It grows to become the adult worm. And then after digestion, it is excreted out through the feces. Through the human feces, the eggs, the eggs of the tenuous solium, because it is adult stays in the, in case of intestine, there it lays eggs. So these eggs, they passed into the feces. So the eggs, so the feces containing eggs will be taken by the pig, right? So the pig here, see, so the feces containing the eggs of the tenuous oleum, it is ingested by the pig because as you know, the pig eats stool or the feces of the humans, you may also call it as. So the so this pig, they, they are taking the feces which contains the eggs of the tenuous oleum, right? So this pig got infected now. Now what happens? In this pig, so it hatches out. It hatches out to leg, to um, it hatches out to form the oncosphere. So this oncosphere is released inside the intestine of the pig and this oncosphere penetration in the intestine and they also get penetrated into the intestine of the pig, right? So now what happens, from there, it uh, through the lymphatic vessels, lymphatic circulation, it moves through all the, all the organs of the body, all the parts of the body, mainly the striated muscles, right? So the, in the striated mus muscles, so 
it hatches out to form the cysty circus larva so this is the main important larval stage of the tenia solium and that is the cysty circus larva so this cysty circus larva cellulose in muscles so this is the most important part of the tenia solium which is the larval stage and that larval stage is called as cysty circus cellulose in muscle right so now what happens in the muscle in the pig muscle there are cysty circus larva when the human or the man they are taking undercooked meat of pig means here the cysty circus larva is there inside the pig when you are taking the muscle of the pig you are having that infection now the cycle repeats so this is all about the life cycle of tenia cellulo but there is also another case there is a name called auto infection auto infection means self infection so this self in infection means when the infection is when there when there is a infection in the human by eating undercooked meat and it is the adult worm or the larval stage they attach to the intestine and the adult worm the adult worm is found in the small intestine and this eggs passed in feces so these eggs which are passed in feces instead of taken by the pig they also contaminates food and water so if this contaminated food and water will be taken by the human again and now same cycle will be repeated in the human the cycle which will be going in the pig means when you are taking when the human is taking contaminated food and water what happens suppose i am taking contaminated food and water it will move through the esophagus and finally to the stomach and finally at the intestine in the intestine it will also form the cysty circus larva in the human body so just differentiate between cysty circus larva will be formed in the pig but in case of auto infection cysty circus larva can be formed in the human body so there a disease occurs called as cysty circosis so this is the most important disease which is caused by the tenia solium to the humans so this is the cysty circosis so this is the life cycle it may be digenetic it may be monogenetic because may be the definitive host of the tenia solium may be man and the intermediate host may be the pig for the life cycle to be completed and auto infection is also there so this is all about the life cycle of the tenia let's discuss about some key points about tenia solium so that it will be easier for you to remember all these things in a keys in a summary okay right now we will start with the tenia solium key points now as you have already seen in this video that it has two hosts first one definitive host is the man and the second intermediate host is the pig right so the mode of infection is the eating undercooked meat or it can say you can also say it as measly pork right so the mode of infection is taking or ingesting undercooked meat of pig by the humans and the clinical features of this uh, tenia solium is c this tenia solium causes two types of disease first one is the intestinal teniasis and second one is the cystic sarcosis so this if if you are having this intestinal teniasis you will have to do that uh, test like uh, you have to for stool examination we are, we are saying that uh, proglottids are eggs in the stool but in case of cystic sarcosis it is highly dangerous in case of that we are doing that ct scan mri and uh, x ray biopsy is also done and serological also test serological tests are also there like antigen detection antibody de detection through elisa method and uh, these are all about the test or the lab diagnosis of this tenia solium so now we will study about the treatment of this tenia solium we have to take mainly praziquintel praziquintel is the best medicine for this tenia solium to be cured and for the prevention or uh, for the prevention of this tenia solium we should avoid that undercooked pork for our better healthy healthy life so that we will we will not have that cystic sarcosis or intestinal teniasis at all so these are all about the tenia solium and the keep some key points because this is a pork tape worm and tape actually tape worm are of two types pork tape worm and the beef tape tape worm pork tape worm is called as tenia solium and beef tape worm is called as tenia sarcinata so we will be discussing this tenia sarcinata in later classes so if you have any doubt on tenia solium you can all you can ask me on this comment section so it, it is totally free you can subscribe to the channel and if you want that another topic we should discuss in the next video so please do comment in the video
थैंक यू